Good morning, everyone. Tractor Man 44 here. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> I think everybody needs a rainy day. You know, rainy days are made for guys like me, you know. Um, I don't know about you guys, but if I ain't got eight or ten projects going at the same time, all ranging from some small welding projects to, hell, working on old tractors or, or an old truck or, or maybe the wife's car broke down or something like that, uh, if I ain't got, you know, eight or ten of them projects going all the time, I kind of feel lost and, and lonely, you know. Um, so at any rate, this rainy day today, man, I'm, I'm getting an opportunity to finish up a little project that started uh, all a year or so ago. You know, sometimes you gotta, you might have a large trailer, a gooseneck specifically, that uh, you need to move in uh, around in a, spot, in a tight spot or something, and you just can't get your fancy truck in there. You don't want to bash the fenders off of it or anything, and sometimes you just don't want to, uh, you just don't want to do it. So you want to, you want to consider making something for your three-point hitch where you can back up to it with a larger tractor, you know, with three point on it and pick up that gooseneck ball and move it around, you know, pick up that ball on the uh, gooseneck and just move that cotton picker around. So uh, I, I did most of this, I don't know, a year or so ago and used it a couple times, but I'm kind of changing around a little bit uh, and I'm going to finish it up this morning. So anyway, let me give you an idea. It ain't nothing fancy. It's just a chunk of uh, probably two and a half inch box tubing, heavy gauge, schedule, uh, schedule 40, I think, and then some scrap pieces of... Uh, 3 8 plate I used there for gussets and then a piece of uh, two and a half inch channel iron just that's just because it was laying there um, but anyway you can see it's it's uh, it's just about done I've got to weld that top one right there uh, and then I'll uh, I'll take a little video and show you show you what it looks like but anyway uh, thanks for a rainy day man I tell you I, I like these days There you go, she's just about done. Now what I gotta do, I'm gonna lock these off right here, cut those off about, you know, two 45 degree angles and grind them down just a little bit rounder. Uh, you know, just keep from barking your elbows or your, your wrists or something on when you're hooking up. But anyway, there you got an idea. Ain't nothing but a bar with a couple of category one pins on it. Actually, I just took three quarter inch uh, grade eight bolts and weld them on there, drill holes in them, weld them on there. Uh, didn't wanna waste money to buy a set of uh, the regular uh, category one pins. But at any rate, uh, you can see how you hook that onto your three-point, back right up underneath your gooseneck ball or gooseneck hitch, and uh, raise this old ball up and just drive off with your trailer. And, and with the uh, versatility of a uh, versatility of a tractor as compared to a big old truck out in the woods in a tight spot or even around your buildings and everything, you'll be able to uh, back it in and out and around, you know, pretty easy. So, uh, yeah, it beats paying, you know, 75 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever it costs if you was to buy one of these from factory. Uh, you know, factory made. Uh, this ain't nothing, just scrap stuff just laying underneath the workbench. Uh, and obviously you saw out there while I was welding, there's, there's a lot of scrap underneath the, underneath that particular workbench. Anyway, hey man, this Tractor Man 44. Project done, a little bit of paint, and I am out of here. <laughs>